my chemistry teacher kept talking about electron spin spin up spin down spin half this and that but as i started reading feynman lectures i realized that it's impossible for electrons to ever spin so stay with me until the end of the video and you will get a profound idea about spin of electrons now if we really want to know about electron spin at first we need to know what spin really is for us spin resembles to spinning ball or spin of our earth about its axis or the spin of a whole galaxy more precisely we can say that in case of a spinning ball each and every particle in the ball is rotating about a common center and they all take the same time to finish the circle any group of particles which does this like for example say a galaxy where each star is rotating about its center and the galaxy as a whole system is performing spinning motion so now we can say that spin is always performed by group of particles not by individual elementary particles like electrons single electron can never spin but it is very difficult for us to imagine of something which can never spin the smallest something we can ever imagine might be a grain of sand but it is also made of billions of particles so a grain of sand can spin but not an electron actually spinning is an emergent property but what does it mean well it means that even though the individual pieces of them they are not spinning for them spin makes no sense all they are doing is circular path and yet the group ends up spinning Another example of emergent property is life. If you consider cells, then you would see that individual pieces of cells, none of them are alive today. But as a whole system, you are alive. So until now, we have come to the conclusion that as electrons are the most fundamental particles in our universe, that's why they can't perform spinning motion. If it's true, then why our teachers and books suggest that they do spin? Here you need to know an important fact that electrons behave like tiny magnets. They produce magnetic fields. Now this question might rise in your mind. What is the relation between electron spin and tiny magnets? Well for this you need to know that magnetism comes from moving charges. That means a moving electron can produce magnetic field, but a non-moving single electron also behaves like a tiny magnet. Why? Where does this magnetism come from? Now it turns out that if you take a ball of charge and if you make it spin, then you have moving electrons. These moving electrons can produce magnetic field and if you calculate the amount of magnetic field for individual electron and add them up then you will get exactly the same amount of magnetic field which the spinning ball has. That's why it is taught us that maybe electrons do possess some kind of spin. Maybe not in the classical sense of how a ball spins but maybe a new kind of spin which we call the quantum spin. But why do we have such an obsession with spin? I mean we could easily say that electrons behave like tiny quantum magnets. and doesn't come from anything it is just an intrinsic property of electron that's easy but feynman says us that there is a stronger reason why we think about electron spin and for that let's talk about something that we are really familiar with a top if you take a table top which is not spinning and just let it go then what happens well it falls on the table due to gravity but if the top is spinning then it won't fall due to the effect of gravity instead it would topple This motion of top about the vertical direction is called precession. That means when something is spinning, it has the ability to resist turning forces. It has the ability to resist torque. And what ends up happening? It just wobbles. So to know if an object is spinning or not, all you have to do is just put a turning force on it. If it turns, then I know that it's not spinning. But if it resists that turning and keeps wobbling, then I know it's spinning. And now we need to do the same experiment with electrons. As we know that electrons are tiny magnets so we can put electrons in between two giant magnetic poles to provide some turning force on the electrons from this experiment we can get two results in the first case if electrons do not spin then they couldn't resist the opposing force and simply turns like this but if they spin then electrons would resist the turning force and start wobbling with the help of its angular momentum Now I know that this question might come to your mind is that how can we detect if electrons are really wobbling or not Here you need to know that it's pretty insane that humanity has now reached to such a point where we can practically shoot such an experiment in labs. Anyways, we did this experiment and guess what we found? We found that electrons really wobbles. That means it has angular momentum. So there is no escaping it anymore that electrons have spin. Finally, we can say that electrons do not spin like our earth, but it has its own quantum spin. Actually we cannot say if an object is spinning or not in quantum world if it doesn't match our ideas of macroscopic world and here lies the mysteries of quantum world and quantum physics by the way if you want to know about quantum physics you can check the video in description and finally if you have learned something new please give a like and do subscribe